Separation system. So in this study, we'll be using the hollow fiber membrane. So it looks like the rice vermicelli, something like this. So for the gas separations. So the concept of the gas separation in this study is actually we put the membrane into the membrane module. So the gas uh, will be pumped in from the ambient air, pumping for as a feed and then separated by the membrane. So the separation is actually due to the difference in the kinetic diameter. So oxygen with the somal kinetic diameter will be released through this outlet, whereas nitrogen with higher kinetic diameter will be released back to the ambient air. So before we start the experiment, we have to pour the membrane into the membrane module. So the details demonstration has been shown in another videos. So basically, we need to put a cotton bar, roll the membrane together, and then we insert the membrane into the membrane module. So after we put the membrane in the membrane module, it will look something like this. So the membrane will come across these two sides. Okay? So whereas one side, we will put the cotton bud to hold it. And then we will put in the epoxy resin into the membrane to make sure that it's sealed together tight on one side. <clears throat> After we wait for one or two days for it completely dry, then we'll put on the other side, do the same thing to put in the epoxy resin sealed on the other side to make sure that the membrane is well potted into the membrane before we start the experiment. Let's have a closer look of the setup. So in this uh, gas separation cell ray, so we will have a vacuum pumps over here. So this is actually the vacuum pumps. So it will suck in the air from the surrounding. So into the membrane module system. So once it will connect to the top over here. So we will have an inlet at this part. So this inlet will go to a flow meter, a pressure gauge. After that, we have a thermometer sensor at the bottom over here with data logging system. 
So we go through this membrane module. So in this membrane module, we have several membrane inside. So for the gas separation to occur. So as we can see in this module, one side it will be connected to the outlets over here as a um, outlet. Okay. So you have four meter in this part, pressure gauge and temperature sensor at the bottom. This part will be the oxygen outlet. So on the other side, you have an outlet on this part. This one will be the nitrogen outlet. So all this system will be connected to a data logger. And this data logger, you collect all the information like pressure, flow, and also temperature of the gas separations.